Hey guys, it's Angie. I have a loot fright. This is actually July's box. They're still very behind on shipping. They still have September's box that hasn't shipped yet and November's box that hasn't shipped yet. So who knows um, when we'll get them. I, I really hope they get their stuff together. Um, this box, I'm kind of afraid what it's gonna look like on the inside because it's a little crunched up and uh, yeah so anyway enough dilly dally let's open it up and see what's in here hopefully this time it won't have stuff that is like from the past but we'll see so the theme is slaycation and it says this summer pack your bags well it is now November this summer, pack your bags and hit the road. Go on a grisly getaway to some deadly destinations with Slaycation. Just watch out for tourist traps. Okay, now I have to say I'm excited now. So let's see, what's the t-shirt? T-shirt right on top. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite movies. House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price. What's the shirt? Oh my God! Do you dare enter the house on Haunted Hill? Okay. I don't care what else is in this box. This makes the box worth it to me because I love this movie. Love, love, love. Okay. Okay, Loot Crate. You did good on this one. It's got like a little fold right here, and that's why I was trying to get it unfolded so you could see. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Okay, I'm happy. I was about ready to be all cynical and stuff since they're so late with the shipping and everything. And then up next is this box. It says The Slaughtered Lamb, an American Werewolf in London. See that? It says it's a pint glass. Let's see. Wrapped in styrofoam. Let me see. Does it talk about the t-shirt? I, I don't like to read these until I'm getting the stuff out. Yeah, the t-shirt. Commemorate the 60th anniversary of House on Haunted Hill, a.k.a. the original Scare b, &B. <laughs> With this tee featuring classic movie iconogra iconography. Iconography. And then this oh that's the bar they went to okay I remember now when I see the glass I don't know how good you can oh you can see it I think the slaughtered lamb and it says an American werewolf in London pint glass after some ill-advised backpacking on a full moon get your hair of the wolf with help from this slaughtered lamb pub glass. That is a very good movie, American Werewolf in London. So I like that and I will actually use that. I don't like save the things for collectibles thinking they're gonna be worth money someday. I use the things. And up next, this is warning positively do not open. It's an Annabelle. Figuring. And there's also 3D glasses in here. It says put on anaglyph glasses. Cover left eye, cover right eye. Probably because the blue side might show you this and the red side will show you that. I don't know. Let's see what it says about it. It says Annabelle comes home figurine. Next time mom and dad are out of town, repossess their Annabelle figurine which reveals a demonic surprise when viewed through special 3D glasses. I don't know, I can see the demonic surprise without the 3D glasses, unless there's more to it than, than what I think I see. So it's like um, acrylic, and then it has a base, so you can put it on its base. This I'm not very impressed with. So, and then it comes with the like 3D glasses. 
Oh yeah. So you put them on and yeah, if you, I didn't cover, I just shut an eye. So I don't think 3D glasses are gonna work through here, but maybe. Now, plus I look, that's just a dumb idea on my part. Basically, the blue stands out with the blue, the red stands out with the red. Meh. I'm meh on that. So then, what is this? There's this envelope. It's kind of bent up. Things getting slashed. Ooh, what is this? I think it's a poster. Let me look real quick. Yeah, it says exclusive horror movie foster, like faux. Watch tourists get gouged in more ways than one. Make a pit stop at Pop's Last Guest. And then artist is Austin James. So let's open this up. Prices aren't the only things getting slashed. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to rip it out. Okay, so here we go. Is this poster? The only thing about posters is since they have to ship it like this, it's it's got creases all in it. Slaycation three tourist trap. Is that a real movie? I don't know. Do you guys know? Does anybody know? Is that a real movie? or is? Oh, it says a foster. Duh. So, pretend. It's kind of late. So. I'm using that as my excuse. That's actually kind of cool. I do wish that they didn't have to fold it, but I don't really know how else they could get it to you. Because I think that would be kind of cool to frame. And then the last thing, this is cute, is the pin for the month. Looks like a little hula zombie. <laughs> Take it out of the packaging so you can see it without a glare. One thing I do like is see how it's a bigger pin? So they have two fasteners or two pieces of, of it to fasten. And so it says, yep, zombie, zombie hula dancer pin. Scream uh, ah, aloha <laughs> to this hula dancing zombie on your next terrifying tropical getaway. And the artist is Tom Kurzansky. This is really cool. So by far my absolute favorite thing in this box is that t-shirt. And my least favorite thing is this lame that's my opinion. Other people might think this is awesome. I think it's lame, but that's just my opinion. It doesn't, it doesn't um, take away from me still being excited to get these boxes. Although I've prepaid already for the the next year's worth, so I'll be still getting them for a little while. But I, I'm not sure I'm gonna renew again. It just depends on if they get their act together and start getting these things sent on time because I'd really like to get them on time. And um, and like this one, if I looked at the website, it said it had been shipped like a month ago, and it wasn't. You like would go to the link and it would take you to FedEx's page and it would say something along the lines of like a number had been assigned, but they didn't have the package yet or something like that. So you could tell they were in the process of doing something. But the next two boxes, they have on the website um, what their theme is, but neither one has been shipped yet. And like I said, one of them is September's box and one is November's box. So who knows when I'll get those. But anyway, if you stopped by to see what came in this, well, not even this month's box, in the Slaycation box, thank you so much. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks. Bye.